Have you ever found yourself in a team meeting or family gathering where the air has just felt poisonous? Today we're cracking open the antidote to those toxic atmospheres. We're diving into the fascinating work of relationship expert Dr John Gottman and exploring the four team toxins that can wreak havoc in our interactions both professionally and personally. So if you're ready to detox your communication, let's dive in. These are the four behaviours that can poison our interactions at work and even at home. Blaming, defensiveness, contempt and stonewalling. Blaming. This is when we criticise someone's character rather than focusing on their actions or a particular behaviour that's problematic. It's like a personal attack, making their sipping feel under assault, rejected and hurt. Imagine telling someone they're careless instead of addressing a specific mistake that they make. Defensiveness. This is when we feel the need to protect ourselves from criticism or perceived threats to our ego. It's like building a wall around ourselves, but the issue here is that it often comes across as shifting blame onto others. Instead of addressing the issue, it feels like we're saying, the problem's not me, it's you. Contempt. This is where we treat others disrespectfully, possibly through sarcasm, ridicule, belittling, cynicism, name calling, mimicking or negative body language. The person on the receiving end is made to feel despised and worthless. Contempt is considered the most poisonous of all team toxins because it destroys psychological, emotional and even physical health. Stonewalling. This behaviour involves shutting oneself off from others and withdrawing from interactions rather than addressing the issues at hand. It's like pulling up a drawbridge and cutting off communication, often through silent treatments or in evasive manoeuvres. This is also the realm of passive aggressive behaviour, where the issues are ignored rather than confronted. So all that sounds pretty grim, yeah? But there are antidotes to these toxins, so let's talk about those next. Awareness. The simple act of identifying these toxic behaviours when they surface, whether in our own actions or those of others, is a powerful first step towards eliminating them. We need to be conscious observers of our interactions. Assertiveness. This is about setting healthy boundaries and confidently standing up for your own rights while also respecting the rights of others. It's about finding that balance between being overly aggressive and overly passive. Curiosity. It's about understanding others' perspectives. It's about asking questions and expressing an interest in others even when you're in the middle of a conflict. It's also about acknowledging that we might play a role in the problem and be open to learning from the situation. Constructive communication. Miscommunication is often the root of conflicts, especially within a multicultural environment. By enhancing our communication skills and learning how to give and receive constructive feedback, we can prevent misunderstandings and disagreements from escalating into full-blown conflicts. It's about being clear, concise and considerate in our interactions. And there you have it, the four team toxins and their antidotes. It's all about awareness, assertiveness, curiosity and constructive communication. So which of these toxins have you experienced in your own life? And if we're being completely honest here, which ones do you find yourself falling into? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights. Until next time, take care.